I'm Michael Schulberger. Good evening. They call her Suze. She calls her book the same name. That's Suze Randall, a young English woman who climbed from the respectability of being a midwife to the infamy of the centrefolds of girly magazines, a woman who shocked even the photographers and who became a close confidant of Playboy chief Hugh Hefner. But that all ended when she told him she was writing a book. This book, about Hefner, his empire and herself. In Melbourne, Suze Randall, who also became a top photographer, is talking to Leonard Lee, and the model photographer had her own way of starting the interview. Oh, you sex bomb. Oh. You have a little bit more. Oh. A little bit more shoulders back. Come on, be a man. Be a man about it. Now, uh, you've written a book that is a, a really... Uh, it's a book that I would describe as a red-hot autobiography. Is it true for a start? Yes, it's true. I don't think I could make those things up, do you? Well, some people do. Well, they've got jolly good imaginations. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very true. All right, you've written a book. Why did you write a book as candid as that? Because it's, it's my story. I wrote the book, really, because there's never been a book done on the pin-up business, the, an inside story of the pin-up business. Also, in the fact that it's a kind of an interesting story, how I went from being a straight nurse to being a naughty model to being a filthy photographer. I mean, it's, it's kind of a funny story. It almost appears as though you don't really care what you write. Well, as long I, as it's open and honest. And, you do, and you it should be funny. I mean, I think humour is the most important thing in life. But you give uh, me the impression that you don't really care what people think about what you've done. I mean, a lot of people out there would be terribly mortified, horrified that you've been uh, open enough to write about fairly intimate details. That's true, isn't it? That they would be mortified, mm -hmm. horrified? Mm -hmm. Shocked. I think most people I've met have been amused. Are you prepared to do anything for money and fame? Are you? I am prepared to do anything that I enjoy doing, and I enjoy sex. And I enjoy talking naughtily and being a little risque and shocking people just a little bit. You know, you have to know how far to go. You mustn't go too far. I understand you intend to have children. Some people mm -hmm. would say, are you a person fit enough to be a mother? Oh, I'm a marvellous mother. I'm very, very good with children. What sort of morals would you teach your children? I would uh, teach, teach them all the morals that I have, which is uh, honesty, generosity. What, what else is important? When you're a sweet old granny of about 65, 70, mm -hmm. 75... Not long now. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 31. Truly? Truly? Why? Do I look 45? No, I, <laughs> I, I feel it. I, <laughs> I mean, bleep. Hang on, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I thought you were about 26. But anyway. <laughs> when your grandchildren, in their innocence, read that book, Sue's, mm -hmm. the one that's on the market, how do you justify that book to them? Do you think they're going to be shocked, mortified? Would you, oh, would you let them read it quite yeah, happily? Of course. No, I think they're going to be amused. They say, oh, my God, grandmother was a one, wasn't she? I mean, my grandmother, in fact, was quite a devil. But um, when I have grandchildren, their attitude is not going to be nearly as prissy as uh, the attitude of our generation. I mean, they're not going to be so upset about sexuality, be so hung up with guilt, you know. I mean, we're very uh, hung up still with the Victorian age. My right. grandchildren aren't going to keep a damn about sex. Sex is to be enjoyed, but there are more important things in life, and I'm sure they're not going to worry that their grandmother had a ball in her 20s. Sue Randall, who says we'll all be liberated enough to take that way of life for granted in a few years.